Alright, I'll admit that this particular video series is going to be a little bit niche, but I hope you stick with it. This is the story of how a little idea became a bit of an obsession, which became a foot drum kit. Yes, a foot drum kit. Just watch it. I think this all started back in about 2013 or so. I was at a rehearsal and um, I found myself sitting in a drum kit with a guitar in my hand and my feet naturally found their way to the kick and the hi-hat pedals and I started fooling around with a simple beat while I was playing the guitar at the same time. Being a little bit bored, I thought, I wonder if I could do that with just one foot if I put the pedals back to back. Sure enough, it kind of worked, but it was super impractical and I lacked the coordination to do it while playing the guitar anyway. So I kind of filed it away in the back of my mind and didn't really think much more about it for a while. But a few years later, in about 2015, I started to become aware of something called foot drumming. And this is the particular video that caught my attention. Take a look. After watching that, I was just like, that is so cool. By the way, if you want to see the full video, click on the link in the description below. Anyway, it had never occurred to me that you could do all that at the same time while playing guitar. I'd never seen a drum kit set up that complex for feet. So I did some research and I found out that the guy in the video, Eric Dane Jaquay, was playing something called the Farmer Foot Drum Kit. Um, they retail for about two to three grand US and they allow you to play all the core elements of a drum kit just with your feet. They're portable, they sound amazing, and they're practically a work of art. I was this close to being like, take my money. But being the perfectionist that I am, I had a little look at the way the pedals were arranged on the Farmer Foot Drum Kit, and I did some silent practice on the floor with my feet. And I realized that as beautifully as it's been designed, as close to perfect as the Farmer Foot Drum Kit is, it probably wasn't gonna work for me. Let me explain why. As far as I can tell, the Farmer Foot Drum Kit has been cleverly designed around the way a real drummer would normally use their feet. So the right toe operates the kick drum, and the left toe opens or closes the hi-hat. Then everything else is added around that. Either heel can play the snare, and the toes can operate extra hi-hat sticks, or a percussion pedal. Now don't get me wrong, this layout has a lot of advantages, especially when it comes to doing fills. And I can't argue with the fact that there's players out there like Eric Dane, Jaquay and others who've practiced it and they've mastered it and they can just play it. But here's why I need to do things a little bit differently. First of all, I'm a guitarist and I want all my pedals to be in front of me where I'm used to them. But on the Farmer Kit, there's no space left to put them. You can buy an optional pedal platform, but it's a bit of an afterthought and it makes everything really hard to reach. Secondly, I want to be able to operate my guitar pedals with my right foot the way I always do. But on the Farmer Kit, that would mean losing the kick drum temporarily because it's assigned to the right foot. So because of my particular requirements, I decided to come up with a new design from scratch. In my design, the left heel would be assigned to kick and the left toe to snare. The right toe would be assigned to hi-hats and everything else, while the right heel operates the hi-hat closer. An interesting aspect of this design is that my left and right toes are doing the same job that my hands would normally do on a real drum kit. So now that I had a bit of a plan in my head, it was time to start building. See you in the next video.